Nicotine replacement therapy, tobacco cessation medications. This lecture on tobacco cessation medications will review classes of medications used to treat tobacco abuse and dependence, describe the mechanism of action of those medications, identify adverse effects, and list some relevant drug-drug interactions. It's important for a pharmacist to know about the mechanism of action, the adverse effects, and the drug-drug interactions of all medications. Nicotine replacement therapy is a cornerstone for treatment of tobacco use. Its mechanism of action is to agonize cholinergic nicotinic receptors. These are the same receptors that are impacted by smoking or using other forms of tobacco itself. So the nicotine replacement therapy produces a similar, a similar action. There are several neurotransmitters that are released when these cholinergic receptors are agonized. These include dopamine, glutamate, and gamma aminobutyric acid. Nicotine replacement therapy produces much lower plasma concentrations than smoking. One key implication of these lower plasma concentrations is that nicotine replacement therapy is less likely to reinforce behavior than we would see with smoking or using other tobacco products. There are a variety of dosage forms of nicotine replacement therapy that are available for our patients to use. These are divided into buckle delivery systems, which include the nicotine gum, the nicotine lozenger mini tab or the inhaler, and we see these here on the slide, gum, lozenge and inhaler. So with these formulations, the nicotine is absorbed through the buccal tissue or on the inside of the mouth. Delivers the nicotine through absorption across the nasal mucosa. And then finally, the transdermal form of the nicotine or the nicotine patch. Nicotine is a very small molecule and it's very easy for it to absorb across the skin, which is why the patch is such an effective delivery system. Nicotine replacement therapy has a variety of adverse effects. Some of, the, some of these adverse effects apply to all forms of nicotine replacement therapy, and then we'll go through a few that apply only to specific forms of nicotine replacement therapy. So here we see on the slide the adverse reactions that apply to all forms of nicotine replacement therapy. These adverse effects come from the nicotine itself, not the delivery system. And these are, as you might expect, effects of nicotine itself. These include anxiety and insomnia, impaired concentration and dizziness.